Is pacifying your baby boy worth the cost? Scientists make memory predictions with a new model, and there's a whole lot going on in outer space. Get ready for story time on today's Daily Orbit. Hello, orbiters. I'm Emerald Robinson. Welcome to the Daily Orbit. The Messenger is sending us new messages about the origin of Mercury. Turns out the planet closest to the Sun contains high levels of magnesium and sulfur on its surface, making its composition quite different from the other planets. Concentrations of sulfur are about 10 times that found on Earth. Data from Messenger spectrometer shows that the planet's volcanic regions formed from upwellings of rocks that are also unique to Mercury. The planetary data system has made Messenger's images and measurements of the planet available to the public. And how many times have you heard he's just so emotionally unconnected? Well, maybe it's because he used his pacifier a little too long. New research discovered that pacifiers might affect the emotional state of young boys by limiting the number of facial expressions that can be practiced in infancy. Researchers explained that by mimicking what another person is doing facially, a child creates some part of the feeling for itself. Infants don't initially understand the words we say, so facial expressions help us communicate with them. The study saw no effect on pacifier use in the development of baby girls. Researchers say this is because girls advance earlier in their emotional development. I know a few men who definitely sucked on their passies longer than they should have. <laughs> Wish you knew the best way to get your memory to work? Well, scientists are looking at just that. New research shows that it is possible to predict how well people will remember information. Using EEG sensors, scientists monitored brain activity to see when a person seemed to understand the material or when they needed to study again. Researchers hope their work will lead to improvements in how students learn, particularly what training works best for different types of people. And boy, there sure is a lot going on in space today. The Curiosity rover has just witnessed its first eclipse on Mars. The space probe snapped images of the moon Phobos coming between the red planet and the sun. Scientists say it's important to understand Phobos' orbit as it is slowly spiraling into Mars. Curiosity has been exploring Mars since early August and is continuing on its mission. It is now 950 feet from its landing spot and nearing a rock that NASA plans to study before moving to its next destination. Well, good luck, Curiosity, and keep up the good work. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away, there was a light that traveled many, many light years, 13.2 billion to be exact, where it was finally picked up by NASA telescopes. The Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescopes have identified the furthest galaxy yet. This light captured by the telescopes was from when the universe was a wee little 500 million years old. Astronomers say that this galaxy contains only about 1% of the Milky Way's mass which confirms the theory that earlier galaxies were very tiny. The end. I just love a good galaxy story. Well, that does it for today's Daily Orbit. See you back here tomorrow, boys and girls.